Hello everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to get server-side mods on ModRenf. Take it away. Thank you. Yes, so indeed in this video, I'm going to show you how to download mods onto your modern server and join your modern server while having these mods activated. So to begin, you need to be on the modern server homepage. You can access this simply by going to your web browser and going to this page. You do have to get a server first, but then you will see this page show up. So select the server you want to edit. Here we have one server, so I'll select this one. And then you can see that this server is running Vanilla 1.21.3. We cannot have mods using Vanilla, so we need to change the mod loader. To do so, simply go to options right here, then go to platform and you will see the settings to change this. Here we can see we have Vanilla selected, but we want something like even mods, so I'll be using Fabric for example. You can use Quilt, Forge or Neoforge, doesn't matter, it just needs to be able to uh, support your mod. So what I'm going to do is simply select Fabric and then once you're here, you want to click here and select a Minecraft version that the mod supports. For example, I'm just going to take the latest mods and see what mod supports 1.1.3 and use it. Then here you can see select loader version. Just select the latest one and select the latest version just to get a matching one. Here you can do clean reinstall if you want to reset everything about your server. You don't always have to, I'm not going to do it for example, but if you want a reset server with only fabric, you can do so. Then just click install. Up. Okay, once everything is installed, here we can see that fabric is selected and we can also install other things if you want other types of mods. Uh, you have to know that, for example, if you use Forge mods, the uh, user which is going to be joining the server will also have to download the same mod. For fabric, you don't always have to, especially if the mod only changes features and doesn't add blocks or textures uh, to the game you will be fine, but some mods will require you to download the mod and the other players onto their Minecraft, so they will have to also get Fabric onto their Minecraft launcher and the mod as well for them to be able to join the mod, uh, the one that's server actually. Uh, in this case, uh, we will just choose a simple mod, so this will be fine. Uh, so what you can do is go here to install a mod pack if you already have your mod set up but ModRenf is a mod service and they have a lot of mods that you can select. For example, if you go to content right here, we won't have anything because we didn't get any mods on the server yet, but you will see an add content button right here and here you will see this page. Now uh, as this is a beta program for now, uh, you do have to make sure to select server right here because you have client mods and server mods in the same page. But if you have client mods, you can't really use them on a server. So you just have to make sure to select server and then you will have the mods you can use with fabric right here. Here we have different categories we can have if you want any type of mods. But by scrolling down here, we can see different mods and let's just select a simple mod that uh, here it is a falling tree very simple idea you cut one piece of the tree and everything falls so what do we do we just click install once you found your mod and it's all done and it's always good to have fabric api 
it's you can never go wrong with that just fabric api just making sure that everything works some mods needs it some mods doesn't need it but it's always good to have it now just go to your server name up here and we will see fabric api falling tree we can turn on or off the mod and we can remove the mod right here so once we have both mods onto our list all we have to do is click start right here and this will start the server what we can do while the server starts is also go to our minecraft launcher right here wait for the minecraft launcher to turn on Also, as this is a 1.1.3 mod and server, make sure to join on 1.1.3. If you have a different server version, you can always change the version that the players and you have to join the server. Once we have 1.1.3, all we have to do is click play. Here we can see the server has finished loading in. So let's wait for Minecraft to turn on. Okay, now once you're on the Minecraft homepage, simply go to multiplayer and then go back to your server and copy the subdomain or IP. Once we copied it, simply go back to Minecraft, go to add server, go to server address, server name we don't need to change, click done. And here we will have 0 to 20, it's online. All we have to do is just click play. Okay, now once we're in the Minecraft server, all we have to do is, well, find a tree because this is a mod that lets you want break one log and break the rest. Let's just get an axe real quick. Let me just do slash creative. Let's get an axe, there you go. And this is a survival one, so we have to go back to survival. And there you go. Now I broke trees using an axe using the mod. So basically, well, this is a non modded version of Minecraft. So if we leave, we see Minecraft 1.1.3 without any fabric, anything installed. But once we go to the actual server with fabric installed and the mod, which in this case is the falling tree. Here we can see that it works. So yeah, that's how we get mods onto Minecraft 1.1.3 or any other versions using the modern server. Yeah, thanks for watching.